Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today is our lesson number 58. Today we will discuss how to convert fractions into decimals into percentages. Let's see what we have here. The very first problem. The very first problem actually is a very straightforward problem. We have to convert. We have to convert one fifth, three fifth, and four fifth into decimals and percentages, which is a straightforward deal because we learned these things. We learned our tenth and the we ten, we learned our ten, tenth and the fifth on day number on day number thirty one. On day number 31, we learned that converting, convert, converting, uh, we, we learned that uh, dealing with the one fifths is is no different than dealing with the tenths. As long as we know our tenths, we know our fifths. So let's begin. One fifth is the very first one. Let's change into a tenth, so that's easy to deal with. One fifth, we can change it, change that into a tenth by multiplying top and bottom by two. We multiply top and bottom by two of one fifth. We what we end up is two over a ten. 2 tenth now, of course we know we know our tenth, everybody knows the tenth. 2 tenth is simply 0 0.2 or 20%. So whenever we have our fifths, and if you can remember if you cannot remember what an equivalent decimal and percentage is for a given fifth, convert the fifth into a tenth by multiplying top and bottom by two. Let's do the next one. Three fifths, same exact trick, multiply top and bottom by two. Three times two is six, and five times two is ten. So we end up at six tenth which is of course same as 0.6 or 60%. Let's do the next one. Now we have 4 fifths. No different. 4 fifths multiply top and bottom by 2. We end up with 8 tenths, which is same as 0.8 or 80%. So the first problem was a straightforward deal. Nothing to it. Let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. And as we said before, this thing has, has to do with what we learned on day number 31. We learned our tenths and the fifths. Today is our day number 58. On day 31 we learned this concept. Let's do the next one. The next question tells us to convert point zero three five into decimal and percentages. Into decimal Oh, it's already in the decimal, into, into fraction and percentage. A well, percentage is very straightforward. We know that uh, 3.5, we know that uh, point, point 0.35, we know is 35%. 0 0.35 is 35%. We don't have 0 0.35, we have 0 0.035. Therefore, 0 0.035 is just going to be 3.5% 3 or 3.5%. Depending on how the answer choices are laid out, whether the answer choices are presented to you in the form of fractions, mixed fractions, or whether they are presented to you in the form of decimals. You have to be able to recognize both of them. The trick part is, how do we convert this into a fraction so that it's presented in this lowest form, in the, in the most reduced form. The fractions, if the answer choices, listen very carefully, if the answer choices happens, if the answer choices, if they're asking you to convert this into fraction, then the answer choices are going to be presented to you in the most reduced form. So let's do that. We cannot simply point, point zero three five. We cannot just leave it in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, in the more, uh, in the more, uh, elementary form, we have to keep reducing it if it can be reduced any further. Well, how can we convert this into a fraction? How can we convert this into a fraction? Well, it has three decimal places. One, two, three. Let's multiply top and bottom by 1000. Top and bottom by 1000, okay? Watch what happens. If we do that, 0 0.035 times 1000 will simply be 35 
will simply be 35 and the bottom we end up with 1000 on the bottom we end up with 1000 now we simply have to reduce the top and bottom 35 is a multiple of 5 1000 is a multiple of 5 so let's do that how many 5's in the 35's? how many 5's in the 35? 35 has 7 5's how many 5's in a 10? 10 has 2 5's how many 5's in a 0? 0 has no 5's how many 5's in a 0? 0 has no 5's that's it we are done 7 over 200 7 over 200 is the most reduced form which if we think about it makes perfect sense it makes perfect sense because we know the 7 over 100 we know the 7 over 100 is 7 percent of course we know that if 7 over 100 is 7 percent that would imply that would imply that 7 over 200 which is simply 2 times the amount 7 over 200 it's got to be half of 7 half of 7 percent half of 7 percent half of 7 percent is 3.5 percent which is what we said earlier it makes perfect sense if 7 over 100 is 7 percent then 7 over 200 7 over 200 would have to be 3.5 percent because instead of dividing it by 100 we are dividing 7 by 200 but of course we didn't have to do all of this thing we had already done that part that part was very easy so the question was, we were, we were to convert 0 0.035 into fractions and in percentage, 0 0.035 in percentage is simply 3.5% and in fraction form it reduces to 7 over 200. That's how the answer choice is going to be presented to you. You understand? Let's do the next one. Next one you do it yourself. As soon as I put it in the blackboard, you do it yourself first. Not just the next one, all of them. Here's the next question. Convert convert 81 over 150 into fraction and percentage into decimal and percentage is already into fraction into decimal and percentage. Do it yourself. Pause the video and do it yourself. I'm going to give you five seconds to do just that while I change my marker. This marker is, is dying. All right, let's see what we can do. As we talked about before, whenever we have to convert a fraction, a given fraction, into a percentage or decimal, our job always is to try to convert the bottom into 100 as quickly as possible. Let's do that. Oh, I just noticed something actually. I just noticed something actually. What we notice is that, what we notice is that 81, 81 is simply 8 plus 1. The sum, sum of the digits in 81, sum of the digits in 81 is 8 plus 1, which is a 9, which since the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, therefore 81 is divisible by 3. And so is 150. 150, the sum of the digits in 150 is 1 plus 5, which is 6, and 6 plus 0, 0. Of course, we don't have to do any of that for 150. We know 150 is divisible by 3. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. Let's divide. Let's divide top and bottom by 3. Let's, let's divide 81 by 3 here first so that it's easier for us to see. How many 3's in 81? How do we know that? Well, 8, 8 has 2 3's. 8 has 2 3's. 2 3's are 6. 2 3's are 6. The remaining two goes and joins the one becomes 21. And 21 has seven threes. And the three goes away. So if you were, let's do that here. Eight has eight has two threes. The remaining two goes and joins the one becomes 21. And 21 has seven threes. How many threes does one have? One has no three. That one goes and joins the five becomes 15. And 15 has five threes. How many threes does zero have? Zero has no three. So we end up with 27 over 50. It turns out that when we reduce, by the time we reduce, by the time we reduce 81 over 150, it boils down to 27 over 50. That actually is very simple. Multiply top and bottom by 2. Multiply top and bottom by 2, and we will have the 100 in the bottom that we were looking for. And 27 times 2 is 54 over 100, which is same as 54%. Or 0.54, depending on how the answer choices are laid out in front of you. 
Let's do the next one, shall we? So 81 over 150, we just learned, is simply 54%. Here's the next one. You do it yourself as always. Convert. Convert 7250. Convert. Sorry, 327. I don't know what I was talking about before. 727 over 250 into decimal and percentage. Do it yourself. Converts 327 into decimal and percentage. 300 and 27 into 327 over 50 into decimal and percentages. Let's do it here. 300 and 27 over 250. Now our job, as we already know, is to convert the bottom into 100 as quickly as possible. Our job is to convert the bottom into a 100 or, or some multiple of 100. Maybe into a 1000, into 10,000. Any multiple of 100 would do. 250, we should realize that if you were to multiply 250 by 4, we'll end up with a nice multiple of 100, we'll end up with 1,000. 250 times 4 is 1,000. Since we are multiplying bottom by 4, we have to multiply the top by 4. The rest is very simple. Now we simply have to multiply 327 times 4. 327 times 4. 4 eighths are 28. Oh, sorry. 4. I don't know what the hell I just said here. 7 fours are 28. 7 fours are 28. 8. Carry 2. 2 fours are 8, plus 2 is 10, 0, carry 1. 3 fours are 12, plus 1 is 13. I end up with 1308. I end up with 1308 over 1000. And since we are dividing it by 1000, not 100, had we been dividing it by 100, if we had even been dividing by 100, we would move the decimal places two spots. Since we are dividing it by 1000, it's going to be moved to three spots. It's going to be 1.308. 1.308. And if you want that in percentage, in percentage it is 130.8%. 130.8%. That was it for today. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.